Photographers often face many challenges when running their business, or should I say passion, because some photographers get caught up in the passion and forget they have a business to run. Can you tell me the last time passion paid your bills? I'll wait. And don't feel bad because I was that guy too until I realized passion was not making me a profit and something in my business had to change. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you why your photography business is not growing and what you can do to fix it. Okay, let's dive into it. Photographers love to follow other photographers talking about camera gear. Don't you already have a camera? What's the purpose of following a photographer that talks about cameras? If you already have a camera, that camera should last you up to three to four years. So in the meantime, you need to be learning how to get clients for your business. Cameras are expensive and we don't have time to just keep buying cameras and you got a camera and let's go buy another camera and, and you know, just, and you're not making a profit off the first camera. You want to make a profit off the camera, then go buy another camera. That would be the correct way to do it as a photographer because the next thing you know, you're looking for another camera to buy and you haven't made profit off the first camera. Does that make sense? No, it does not make sense to me. So you're probably thinking, what should I do? Unfollow the photographers? Yes, that's what I did. And after I unfollowed the photographers that were talking about camera gear, I no longer wanted to buy a camera. And I started to learn how to get clients after that. And since then, I have had the same camera body for the last three years and I made a whole lot of money and not bought one camera piece of gear, flash, camera body, lens within the last three years, but I made a profit. And that's all that matters in my photography business because I am a full-time photographer. So how am I going to run my business if I'm always buying camera gear? Come on now. <laughs> Let's make it make sense. And I know, I know, I know. You probably grow your business off social media like me, Facebook friends, family members, and they're only going to pay the price that's convenient for them. But guess what? When you start to look for the clients that have the money to pay you, that price is convenient for them. And the higher you increase your prices, guess what? There are people out there willing to pay your price because they understand the value of your services. Another reason why photographers are struggling to grow their business is because simply they don't want to talk about their business. What do I mean by that? Business owners literally had the power to promote their business every day, all day. It's not like in the 1900s and 80s where business owners had to pay for newspaper ads, commercials on TV, or the yellow pages. You can simply just turn on a camera or turn on our phone that we pay a monthly bill for and promote our businesses to the world every day, all day, three or four times a day we have the power to do so. So why not get in front of the camera and talk about your business so the world or your potential clients can hear about you or know about your services that you offer? So story time. I just got an inbox from a photographer a few months ago and they was asking me, hey man, what are you doing to get clients nowadays? And I went on their page and only thing I see was photos. So I went back into the DM and was like, bro, you got to talk about your business. Like this is 2024 video content is winning. All you have to do is turn on your camera, talk about your services. You know, even if you want to take some tips from my page and recreate your version of it, do that, man. You have to start making video content to talk about your services because nobody is going to talk about your services like you. People buy from people nowadays, so now you have to sell yourself to the world. Like, literally sell yourself to the world. There's nothing wrong with that. People are going to book you because they like you. Literally, you can just show the behind the scenes in your stories. Talk about your services. Talk about what you have to offer. Talk about any promotions that you have. Talk about how you're going to help the client. Like, that's all you have to do as far as creating content on a daily basis, weekly basis, just start creating content. I started creating content maybe about a year and a half ago, but I really got into it and understood how to create content maybe about four or five months ago. And my page really grew once I understand what to do as far as creating content. I really start getting leads and I also start getting a bunch of followers. Like my Instagram page was at 5,000 followers and now it's up almost at 30,000 followers. So 
creating content has helped my business out tremendously getting in front of the camera and of course it's going to be hard it's just like any other thing in life that's hard like when you was a baby you're walking now <laughs> when you was a baby you could you couldn't feed yourself so like as long as you keep doing it over and over you're going to get better at it so just start creating content it's going to help your business out you're going to start getting clients and the majority of photographers are not creating content so you always want to do what other photographers are not doing to grow your business and it goes back to you looking at a photographer talking about camera bodies that photographer is creating content you're looking at it <laughs> and that photographer is getting you to buy another camera body <laughs> so that's how you have to translate into creating content once you start talking about your services your clients are going to say hmm maybe i should do a photo shoot hmm maybe he does need to do my wedding photos because you're talking about your services and that's how you're going to get the clients to pay you because they're going to be interested in you and your services because that's all they see they do not see the other photographers so i challenge you by next week post four videos talking about your services on social media and see what happens in the meantime check out this video see you in the next video Chew.